Happy Friday, Ranch Our Ranchers. I hope everybody had a wonderful week. Um, our updates this week um, mainly are on Harry. Um, Dr. Lauren came out um, yesterday to our foster Colleen's place to um, do a wellness exam on Harry and uh, to do a blood draw so that we could get um, a baseline for him. So some of the things that she found, um, he has very, very sensitive skin, um, which we already know. Um, he also has um, mites, which is contributing to um, some of the issues that he's having, especially with being itchy. Um, but some of the larger issues that he has is that um, he does have cataracts. And his left eye is uh, much worse than his uh, right eye. Um, and for those of that have been with me with... Um, Barney, um, you know, cataracts come with vision loss. So um, he does have some vision loss. And um, Colleen had mentioned that um, sometimes when he's out in the field, he'll give like this weird look and he'll, he'll uh, tilt his head. Um, and that's because of the vision loss that he has. So he, you know wants to tilt his head to the right hand side so that he can use that for um, obviously seeing. Um, so um, that's that's one issue. Um, and you know, obviously, um, we've dealt with horses that are uh, visually impaired, so you know it's not that that big of a deal for us. Um, you know, he is nowhere near as bad, um, with vision loss as Barney, um, was, um, he's probably closer to, to Gabby where, um, one eye is essentially not functional, um, or barely functional and can still see out of the other eye. So, um, you know, we know how to deal with that, with putting the, the fly masks on and make sure that we protect his eyes and all of that. Um, the bigger issue, however, is that um, Harry does have um, what we believe to be cancer. Um, it's actually on his penis. And... Um, Colleen thought that something was wrong, and she had mentioned it a couple of times. Um, he walks around or stands most of the time around with um, his penis out, which for a horse is um, not normal. Normally, it's you know it's tucked inside, unless of course there's a mare in heat. Um, and it, it displays differently anyway. Um, but just when he's standing around, it's, you know, it doesn't contract in. Um, so that was the first sign to Colleen that something was wrong. Um, the second sign is that um, he does have lesions on his penis um, and bumps and... Um, Dr. Ann took a look at it. We did a, a very thorough sheath cleaning and, um, you know, once, once we, once that was done, um, then it became obvious that there were, um, some issues. Um, you know, unfortunately with the older boys, um, and actually I shouldn't say just boys, but older horses in general, um, it's not uncommon for them to get um, the kind of carcinoma that he has. 
Um, when we did the blood draw, um, there was, um, you know, there, there were some interesting things that happened with that. Um, there was fat that came up. Um, you know, usually if, when you do a blood draw, you know, when you have your own blood draw, it's usually, you know, foamy or bubbly at the top. And with him, um, fat came out. So, I'm not quite sure what that means. We need the test results back. Um, the test results, the blood work will also give us an indication as to, um, how involved the cancer is. Um, and will tell us what the course of action will be for the treatment. Um, you know, obviously we're not going to go to the extent of, you know, removing the, the cancer. Um, you know, it's obviously in a delicate spot. There's a lot of blood vessels over there. Um, and, you know, we're not going to sit there and take the penis off. Um, the blood work should tell us if the um, if his glands are affected as well, if they're compromised, um, and if that's the case, um, you know we'll we'll have a treatment plan for that. Um, you know, unfortunately, if his glands are um, affected, it is a very aggressive type of cancer. Um, so his skin condition and, you know, we already know that he has mites, but the, he, he most likely has a compromised immune system. Um, if he is, um, if he does have cancer in his gland, in his, um, in his glands. So, um, you know, right now we're just really in a wait and see pattern until we get um, we get the blood work back. Um, you know, obviously, not <laughs> not the news we wanted or expected. Um, at least I didn't. Um, you know, he looks he looks like a healthy horse, and um, you know they do an amazing job of hiding. Um, they're very, very stoic when there is an issue, um, especially the big guys, um, you know, until, until the very, very end. Um, one of the problems with the, with the cancer is that it normally doesn't, um, exhibit the type of cancer that he may have. It doesn't exhibit, um, any kind of signs, um, until it's more well advanced. So, um, you know, he does have one lesion that it's kind of obvious it's, it's more advanced. Um, and then he has, um, smaller, um, like for lack of a better word, smaller tumors on him, um, that, um, we can just keep an eye on. Um, so yeah, I mean, like I said, it's not, not the news that, that I was expecting. Um, but that's why we have Dr. Lauren come out and do, you know, a wellness check and a full, um, you know, a full evaluation of him. Um, you know, his weight looks fine. Um, so he's holding his own on his weight. Colleen's doing an awesome job with, you know, putting a little bit of weight on him. Um, so that's not an issue. He, you know, he still has, uh, his appetite and all that. Um, his teeth will need to be done, which we already knew anyway. Um, that's, that was no surprise. Um, so that's really the, um, that's, that's the story that I, that we have right now for, um, for Harry. So, um, you know, positive thoughts to the big guy would be very, very much appreciated. Um, and as soon as I know anything, it's probably going to be early next week. Um, 
you know, as soon as we know anything, I'll obviously I'll pass it along to you guys so that um, so that you guys stay in the know. Um, as far as Lulu here, he has, um, you guys saw yesterday the video of him, uh, sprinting around and, and being a goofball. Um, it was very nice to see that he had, um, he had several bad days, um, this week. So it was nice to see him stretching out his legs and and being himself and uh you know the the weather was changing it was you know in the 60s or 70s and then the temperature was dropping and the um there was a front moving in so um he obviously got all all frisky with the zoomies um which was which was good to see that he was feeling good enough to to do that um you know, you did see in the video how stiff his back end is. Um, you know, he's he's okay in a, in he's fine in a walk. Um, you know, he goes up to the trot and you can see it. And then when he you know really puts the puts the speed on, um, you know, you can definitely see how, especially on that right side, how stiff he is and how he kind of bounces around like a like a little bunny um and he doesn't have the full the full range of motion either on that right side um you can see that he can bring his left one um more forward than he can his right one um which you know we know his right side's his bad side so that really doesn't surprise me um but he was he was fine he you know he ate his dinner like a champ there were no um, you know, adverse effects from him tooling around like he was. Um, and then this morning we had, um, you know, we had, it was windy. It was rain showers overnight. Um, and I would have, I would have thought that, um, that he was going to have a hard time this morning and, and he was fine. He ate his, he ate his breakfast like a champ. So, um, so, you know, we're kind of at a loss. I mean, I've mentioned this several times. We're we're at a loss at what we're, you know, what the next steps are with Louie. Um, you know, if we've taken the treatment as far as we can or um or if there's some other things that we're going to try. Um, I'm probably going to call Do uh Rob, our chiropractor, um, and see if he can come in and do an adjustment on him and see if that's going to, you know, at least loosen him up a little bit. Um, he's, he's back to not really wanting to be touched. So, um, we'll see if, we'll see if that does anything. But other than that, you can see that he's eating fine and he's, bright and perky and his normal Louis self. So, um, that's, that's really the update on Louis. So that's really all that I have for today, guys. Um, you know, I know it's obviously it's good Friday and, um, you may be watching this later. So, um, Enjoy your Easter if if you um, celebrate that. Have a have a safe um, have a safe weekend and a good week. And I will talk to you all uh, next Friday with um, uh, with hopefully a, a better idea on what's going on with Harry. Um, if I hear any, which I should, you know, when I hear something during the week, I'll. I'll post something, but, um, you know, obviously I'll go more into more detail during, um, our Facebook live next week. All right, Ronchar Ranchers. Um, I will talk to you guys later. Be well, stay safe.